Hi everyone. Welcome to Gnan Cloud Garage. In this session, I'm going to talk about what is the best laptop configuration for building a VMware vSphere 8 home lab. So vSphere 8 means it is talking about the main VMware certified professional data center virtualization concepts. Okay, so the laptop can be, we must have a high configuration in order to complete all the labs. So the main key components within our laptop is, we should consider the CPU, that means processor. We should have at least minimally dual core or quad core processor. And the memory, I should recommend we can start with a 16 GB memory and we can gradually increase 16 GB to 24, 32 GB until 32 GB, we can utilize the laptop configuration. And coming to another co key component is disk. The storage can be, we can use the SSD drive or latest one NVMe SSD drives. The SSD drives also, we can starting with 512 GB and we can increase or it can be expandable until the higher capacities like one terabyte, two TB and so on. And another key component is graphic card. So graphic card also will help to enhance the sum of the application performance while working on the virtualization, okay? And in addition, there are some additional components that is like, uh, as I mentioned, processor is Intel or we can use AMD, any model processor we can consider and start with minimally i7 processor. And similarly, AMD also, we can use a, either any of the 5800H model minimally, or you can use any latest model as well. And memory, we should start with 16 GB or you can increase to 24 or 32 GB DDR4 memory, RAM, or memory, we can also call it as RAM. It can be expandable always. And storage start with 512 GB PCIe and NVMe SSD drive, or you can use a one terabyte higher capacity drives also we can use. And why we need additional drives are to, to store all our virtual machines, we need additional capacity as well. Or we can consider within 512 GB also, we can make it with a low size virtual machines. And the graphics, we can use any of the graphic cards. One example is NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1650 or higher version of models. And graphic card is not compulsory, it is a optional only. And the display, our laptop display, minimally we should start with a 15.6 inch full HD high definition display because it will help us to, at least while working on virtual machines, it to have a better resolution. And coming to connectivity, we should have a USB-A or latest model USB-C and a HDMI port. This HDMI port, it will helpful to connect to any of the external monitor or projectors. And we need a Ethernet card. The uh, Ethernet card also, either it can be optional or nowadays we can use USB-C network also, or we can use USB network. And the Wi-Fi also uh, we should have, and also the Bluetooth. And the battery life, minimally we should consider six to eight hours, depending on the usage. And the operating system, either we can use Windows Client OS 11, or we can use any of the other Linux flavors. Okay, this is the ideal configuration when we are planning to practice the VMware within our home room. And coming to the laptop models, there are plenty of laptop models online. So I just given a few examples, Dell XPS 15 and HP Spectra X360 model. And also we have a Lenovo ThinkPad X1 Extreme model and Asus G15 models also. And when we are practicing these labs, as we are aware, we should uh, have a operating system, either Windows 11, or you have a Linux based Macintosh operating system. That scenario, we can use VMware Fusion. If you are using a Windows operating system, Windows client OS, we can install VMware Workstation. And using VMware Workstation, we can configure multiple virtual machines. And this architecture, we call it as a host-based architecture. And within this virtual machine, let's say, we have to download the evaluation softwares, VMware ESX software, VMware Workstation, and we can also download VMware vCenter server. So one VM, we can install ESX1, and VM2 also we can install ESX2. To manage this two ESX host, we can install a vCenter server. And if you want to configure a domain controller, you can configure another VM, VM4, and configure the domain controller. So minimally, if you have four VMs, it's easy to manage all our vSphere concept, like install 
ESX, configure ESX, and manage ESX, manage creating cluster and all, we can use vCenter server. So all concepts we can cover within this host-based architecture. And the only thing is, be sure to compare the specifications when we are buying any specific model, not only Dell, HP, Lenovo, Asus, there are plenty of other models also. If you, you can just specify the specifications, you can just compare and read the reviews, online reviews, which is the best model and consider your budget before making a purchase. Okay. Hope you understand what is the best laptop configuration to practicing the lab. Okay. Thank you. If you're watching this video first time, please do view, like, share, and subscribe to the Gnan Cloud Garage channel. If you're already subscribed, I appreciate all your support. Bye for now.